Well, happy Monday, everybody. We uh, are going to go over to the comment section. And so just so we get it all out really quick, you guys, today's icebreaker is going to be what it was your highlight this weekend. All right. So once we get through the warm up, Molly, if you can remind me to still do that icebreaker, Molly keeps me on point because I'll forget. Um, but we're going to go over to the comment section. Let's check out what our warm up's going to be. We will start off with two minutes of cardio. So really anything that we can do, either we're going to mobilize or we're going to just get that heart rate up. Just get moving, you guys, for today. All right. So good morning, Leslie. Good, good morning, Molly and Tina. Chris, Stan, Eva, Nick, Adair, Dan. Oh, my God. I know. What we're bumping that? today. Saw uh, Nick and uh, Eva at the, at the lake yesterday real life terms <laughs> all right so uh go back to the warmer really quick you guys two minutes of cardio and then we're going to be doing 10 dumbbell suitcase lunges so that's simply where we're holding the dumbbells to our side and then we're going to do our lunge then we are going to be doing 10 dumbbell curl to press and 10 up down so real quick you guys just so we're on the same page i just don't want to assume that we all know what's going on we're gonna have the dumbbells to our side. You can do reverse or you can do forward lunges, but remember any lunge has to have a vertical shin, so straight up and down. When we do the curl to press, you guys, we can have palms up, so we can go straight here and then go ahead and press overhead and then come back here. Or we can start into a hammer curl and then go straight overhead. So you guys just call on, on how you guys wanna curl and press. I like biceps open or palms up. That's always kind of a good thing. And then going right into a hammer curl to press the dumbbells over our head. So let's get this moving, you guys. Let's go ahead. We're going to do two minutes of cardio. Remember, we're thinking about what is our highlight for this weekend. All right, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one. And here we go. Three minutes Sorry, two minutes of cardio. So we could be doing bicycle crunches. We could be doing mountain climbers. We could be stretching. Um, stretching. Yeah. Anything that's going to get us moving. Because right now, you guys, all we're doing this is telling our body we mean business this morning. <laughs> that was a yes. Thank you. Yes. Dan, how's your calf feeling today? Uh, it's still there, but it's getting better. Okay. I won't be jumping. No jumping. No jumping. And Adair, what what's kind of what are the creeks today? Um, I uh, I I overused something on my foot on my hike, and so I really should be careful about it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, no no big big dynamic movements today like no jumping today um we do have like some going over dumbbells but we'll just step over dumbbells or not even do uh over dumbbells all right you guys we have about 40 seconds left All right, 10 seconds, everybody. All right, here we go, you guys. Three, two, one, and here we go. 10 dumbbell suitcase lunges. We can either have uh, weights in hand or we can just completely dip the lunges also, if we, or dip the dip, ditch the dumbbells also if you wanted to. So goal is if you can get that knee to the deck, that would be awesome. Good, smart. Good call there, Leslie. So remember that front knee, guys, we want it to be out just a little bit. We don't want it collapsing. 
Like we, if you can watch your knee and it's like in between your uh, big toe, kind of push it out just a little bit. We want it to be lined up with our foot, if not with a little bit of push it out. After the lunges, you guys, we're gonna go curl to press. We're currently uh, in beach season, so we gotta get them guns looking good, everybody. I got a couple smiles on that one, I appreciate it. And then after that, you guys will do 10 up downs. So remember the up down, you can jump out or you can step out. And the same thing while you come in, you can step up or you can jump up. <laughs> Scott, I think John broke his foot. How do you do that? Well, he had that bad thing going on with his foot anyway. Yeah. We were playing volleyball this weekend, and now he can't even walk. It's oh, no. Oh. Bad. He's going to go into the doctor? Yeah. I told him he can't. He <laughs> said, you have to just go figure out, make a doctor's appointment before you do anything. He came out yeah. here and worked out. I was like, no, dude. That's hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even walk. Well, I, he can always come back and I can have him do stuff that has nothing to do with lower body. How the hell? Yeah. <laughs> right, Molly? We always have alternatives. Scott, that's the most important thing you ever taught me. Good. I can work around anything. Yep. Just because the whiteboard says it doesn't mean that that has to be the thing today. Okay. Back to it. All right, we have 20 seconds, you guys. So we're gonna go right into those lunges. Oh. Oh. Oops. What? <laughs> Opposed to oh, going right back into the cardio. No, I thought it was just one set of everything. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Three, two, one, and stop. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we're just going to work for five minutes. We're doing our, our morning five-minute warm-up. All right. So, and I remembered it still. All right, you guys. So, we are going to go ahead and share with the whole crew. So, if you're on mute, go ahead and unmute yourself on what was your highlight of the weekend. And, Molly, we're going to start with you. All right. Two very productive work days at the Humane Society Thrift Store. I personally got to box up all the ugly dolls. Oh. Gone. <laughs> all right, Adair. Okay. Um, successfully emerging from being lost on the trail after spending a four and a half hours going about a mile through, oh, wow. through, through a blowdown area. Wow. Dan. A dare getting home safely. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> what about you, Nick? Uh, it was the completion of the annual meeting. Oh my had. God! Yeah. Eva, no judgment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine was, was being, being at the lake, of course. Yep. Yeah, you look <laughs> like you were having fun. Yes. What about you, Tina? <laughs> Um, just had a good, nice, relaxing weekend and then try, went on a couple of walks and a hike. Awesome. Tina sent me a giphy of, uh, or maybe it was just a meme of relax mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Leslie. Um, celebrated my niece who graduated high school. She got a full academic ride to American University in DC. Wow. Whoa. Big deal. Wow. Yeah. Celebrated. What about you, John? I'm right here. Yep. <laughs> What was your highlight? Um, playing volleyball, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard a story. Heard man. <laughs> All right, Chris. Uh, we, had a, we had a nice dinner with Dan. My husband and I had a nice dinner with Dan on Saturday while he was still hiking. That was nice. Very cool. It was nice. Dan. I went on a hike for about uh, six to seven hours yesterday with six my family. Six to seven it was hours? Very nice. 
six to seven hours, something like that. <laughs> six hours and something. And I changed. Love it. Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, Madagascar? Yes. And, yeah. Anyways, there was, that was, that was a line that was like six, you know, you six to seven hours, like 67 hours. No, six to seven hours. You know. That was lame. All right. Sorry about that, guys. All right, um, let's do this really quick, you guys. Um, I'll share my highlight. So we took a tree down. I didn't take a tree down in my yard. And uh, I literally got it all split, finished oh yesterday. <laughs> that wow. was forever. Um, yeah. Was that the felt, second one? Uh, so split up all the wood. So we like, I had a whole tree, right? And then my big old big old tree in my backyard and so it's gone so it's split i remember out. that you i remember that you said the same two three weeks ago is that the yeah. second tree dude i only have time to do it on the weekend so like it's been like it fell it all got bucked now i split a little bit a little bit now did a lot on saturday and did not on sunday so and then went to the lake both days in a row so all right so let's do this, you guys. Let's go over. We're going to have for our strength today, you guys, we're going to have an EMOM for 12 minutes, right? So we're going to have three movements today, and I'll go over all of them. But we are going to be doing uh, alternating dumbbell power cleans. John, I got everything for you, by the way. Right. And then we're going to be doing uh, alternating sit-throughs. So we've done that one a little bit before. And then we're going to do some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So essentially, it's going to be a straight-legged deadlift. And what we're going to do, you guys, is each minute, we're going to take time for one movement. So 45 seconds of movement, rest 15 seconds, and then we'll get right into the next movement. So let's do this, you guys. Uh, dumbbell power cleans, right? So we can take it from the full floor. We can take it from the deck. Tips of the dumbbells touching the deck. And then we're going to stand up with a shrug, right? So if we're going to avoid any like dynamic movements, you guys, all I want you guys to do is stand up with authority, shrug, and throw those elbows underneath, right? If they're really, really heavy dumbbells, I want you to get a lighter dumbbell if you can. If we're going to use a little bit of a jump, guys, come up and jump, catch it, and then stand up, okay? The big part is the jump. So you can catch it with straight legs or bent knees. From there, with the sit-throughs, you guys, we're going to go here in a push-up position, and we're just going to go ahead and rotate. So the big thing here, you guys, I've said this before, is the hand on the floor. You want to stabilize that shoulder, and we want to rotate through. If you could add a little butt to the touch to the ground, that's cool. And then we're going to rotate right back, and then you go ahead and alternate from there, okay? Um, the last part is going to be the Romanian deadlift, right? Feet are going to be, you know, shoulder width apart, maybe even hip width apart closer. But we're just going to pull those hips back, you guys, and just let those hamstrings be your uh, kind of your meters on how far you go back down, right? So pull those hips back, lean forward, feel that stretch, come all the way up. Uh, knees straight is super important. Back's flat is a must, so we're not going too far. And flexibility might limit us on this, but that's okay. So if you need to soften those knees just a little bit, you guys, that's okay. So those hamstrings aren't too tight. Um, but it's not a normal deadlift, right? The dumbbells are not touching the deck. Okay. Um, so going back to, I know, Dan, you're not jumping today. I know, uh, John, you're not jumping today. With those power cleans, it's simply standing up and let that shoulder shrug be the dynamic part, right? Don't worry about the jump, okay? Um, and then when it comes to the sit-through, John, I just want you to do a plank. If you can do it, can you hang out on your toes? I can do a plank with most of my weight on one toe, yeah. Yeah, I want you to do this. Do it on your good side and just go ahead and wrap the other one on top of that foot and you're gonna hold a plank for 45 seconds. Perfect. Perfect. All right, you guys, any questions on any of those movements? I think I was telling you guys this week, you guys are becoming so much pros that we've done these over and over and over again. They're not like new. True. True. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get us up.
All right, I am resetting our clock. All right, you guys, first movement, alternating dumbbell power cleans. And you know what? I, I use two dumbbells, and I want us all to use two dumbbells. I don't want to go back and forth with one dumbbell. Alternating? Nah, take, take the alternating out. Sorry about that. Dumbbell power cleans. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. So we're just standing up. How many of these were you doing? You're going to go for 45 seconds. So as we move for 45 seconds, I really want you guys to really focus on that shrug. You're standing up, you're shrugging, you're squeezing those glutes, right? Boom. There we go. There we go. Yep. And as you're lowering yourself, John, right? Let those knees lower you to the deck opposed to reaching for the deck and bending over. All right, everybody. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, so we're going to get rid of the dumbbells. We're going to do those sit-throughs, right? The big part is that stabilizing of that shoulder so your shoulder is protected. Three, two, one, and begin. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, 10 more seconds. Again, this is not a fast movement. It's a nice, smooth. Remember, keep those arms straight, Chris. Three, two, one, and rotate. Now, the thing that's lowering our butt to the deck, you guys, is that leg. All right, so it's not like we're reaching for it. All right, you guys, let's grab uh, those dumbbells. Straight-legged deadlifts. Okay, begin. Again, this is not a fast movement either, right? You're like keeping them legs straight. You're gonna pull those dumbbells close to your legs. Yep, yep, and be really careful. This is one of those movements that some people go really quick at it, and it's not meant to be quick. It's supposed to be a, supposed to be a nice, slow movement, getting into that bottom position, and then squeeze your glutes to stand all the way up. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys. So let's go back to those power cleans. Remember, it's those abs tight and that shrug that's going to get those dumbbells to that rack position. Three, two, one, and begin. <sighs> There we go, you guys. <laughs> Two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys, we're going right back to those sit-throughs. Three, two, and begin. Oops. There we go. Keep it moving just like that, you guys.
10 seconds. You got it nice and smooth. Remember, arms are straight. Three, two, one, and rotate. Nice job. All right, let's go right back to those Romanian deadlifts. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh. There we go. So remember, they're straight legs. The back's flat. More likely, everybody's probably only going to be able to get their dumbbells to their knees, if not maybe to their mid shins. If you go a little bit further, we're probably bending at the spine or bending the back too much. 15 seconds. Nice and smooth. Deep breath. Hold it. Brace. And then you stand up. Three, two, one, and rotate. <clears throat> All right, you guys. We're going to move right back into those power cleans. Three, two, one, and here we go. That shrug is going to get those dumbbells moving. There we go. There we go. Keep moving, guys. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rotate. Nice job. All right, you guys. <clears throat> Moving right into those sit throughs. In three, two, one, and go. All right, we're almost there. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, rotate. Nicely done, you guys. All right, Romanian deadlift is next. <clears throat> Five seconds. Get nice and slow. It's not a fast movement. And begin. All right, you guys, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Nice and smooth. Nice job. Good. Really brace hard with the, those abs, you guys, as you keep that chest up, right? Don't let that spine bend and rotate. All right. So here we go, you guys. We're going to go right back to those power cleans. Three, two, one. And here we go. So it's just touching that deck. Yep. There we go. Standing up, shrug. The way that we can assure that our back's not rounding you guys is to brace those abs as tight as you can. You know, pretend like somebody's gonna tap your tummy. Flex your abs as hard as you can. It's almost impossible to bend that spine 
without relaxing those abs. So once you relax those abs, that spine will bend. But once you're not relaxed, that spine stays rigid. Here we go. Five seconds, everybody. Two, one, and begin. Or rest. Sorry about that. All right. So here we go. Let's go into our sit-throughs. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice, you guys. Nice and smooth. Yep, good for it. All right, here we go. Get right into the last piece, you guys. Pull those hips back. <clears throat> nice and smooth, you guys. Go for it. And begin. Good morning. I sometimes use this one for a stretch. Um, okay. Good ham good. stretch. Good, good yeah, ham. Yeah, really, really good hamstring stretch. Morning. All right, you guys. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Grab some water, catch your breath. Water today. How's everybody's water intake been lately this past week? Last week. Good, good. Lots. Good. Lots. I've already had two of these this morning. Dang. Whoa. Is that, is that like a 24 ouncer? 22. That a girl. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, nicely done, you guys. Well, uh, come on over to, to the comment section, you guys. We're going to talk about what we're going to be doing. We have four sets of max reps and for a minute and a half. So for 90 seconds, you guys, we're going to be doing a mountain climber, a mountain climber on the left, a mountain climber on the right, essentially left side to right side. And then we're simply going to get up and move ourselves over um, – a dumbbell or an imaginary something, but we're just going to go all the way over and then you go back alternative? down. Alternative? Yep. Uh, what do you mean alternative? I don't like that with my calf. So I'm going to do oh, something. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me get through the list first. Okay. And pull. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like a burpee. Uh -huh -huh. Good one. You got it. So mountain climber. Yep. And then you'll step over or yeah, step over or jump over the dumbbell. From there, you guys will go into a minute and a half of dumbbell hang squat cleans. We'll also go over some, some options on that one. So it's a dumbbell hang squat clean, but we can simply, well, I'll go over the demo, but we're going to front squat. It's simply it's us putting this into a front squat. And then from there, you guys, we're going to be doing a sumo deadlift. So that's just going to be a wide stance with the, with the deadlifts. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the mountain climber over the dumbbell. We'll talk about the alternative also. So we'll have one guy right here. So we'll go ahead and go down, you guys, and we're going to go left, right, stand up, jump. You know, left, right, or right, left, whatever you want, and then go right back. So again, it's just left side, right side, get on the way over. I think Eva was saying a burpee. I think it's sneaking it in just a little bit, but it's more like an up down. Up down, it's like an up down. It's all the same. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all the same. Um, <laughs> from, from here, you guys, when it comes to a hang, 
I've talked about both options of having the dumbbells on our, on our outside. So remember a hang means it's not gonna go below your knees. So it's just gonna stay above your knees. So from here, we can go ahead, hinge at the hips, and we're just gonna jump and shrug and catch it and ride it into a squat, okay? Get a hinge, jump, and then ride it into a squat. You can do the same thing in between your legs, but I would say I would do the in between your legs, and at that point, pull yourself into that squat. It's a little bit more easy to flow on the outside. Now, if jumping into a squat's kind of hard, you guys, just go ahead and hang it, get it into that rack position, and then squat it. So you just have simply put two of those movements together. And then we're gonna do the sumo deadlift. So we're gonna go wide stance, you guys. Point those toes slightly out. Bring the dumbbells together. And then we're simply gonna pull those hips back, lower ourselves to the deck, and then stand up. So the back staying flat is still a requirement. Just those knees are gonna go out. You're gonna feel a nice little pull in the inside of your legs. So be careful on that. And uh, yeah, so I'd say that. So pull those hips back, make sure you feel hamstring and glutes and really be ideal at pushing those knees out so you can feel that stretch in between your legs, okay? So Dan, let's talk about the alternative for the mountain climbers. I'm thinking like a, a, a shoulder tap. You can, you can tell me what you wanna do with this, but we can do a shoulder tap with a push up, and then you'll just go ahead and rest as you need in between. Does that, does that work? Yeah. Yeah, all that. right. This is and I'd even, I'd even say, Dan, every 10 of those, you just throw yourself on your back and you just do bicycle crunches for the remaining of the time. Okay. So. Okay. All right. John, does that work for you too? Do the same thing. Perfect, Thanks. perfect. All right. Any questions, you guys, on that one? Yeah. Alternating dumbbell. It's not alternating dumbbell hang squat clean. It yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, go down. Just so yeah, take up. away the alternating. I'm just gonna have us do doubles. Okay. okay. And sumos. Awesome, you guys. And then after the minute 30 of everything, of all three of those movements, you guys, we're gonna take a 90 second break. All right, you guys, give me a flex if you guys are ready. Let me see those muscles, Dan. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, you guys, mountain climbers with a jump over the dumbbell or as that alternative, shoulder tap push-ups, 10 of them, and then you're gonna do bicycle crunches the remaining of the 90 seconds. Nicely done. <laughs> love it, love it. <sighs> Leslie's looking at John saying, I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, everybody. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys, we're going directly right into the dumbbell squat cleans. Remember, we can jump into a squat, right, from that hang position, or we can do that hang clean bring the dumbbells to the shoulders, and then do the squat. Yep, there we go. Yep, and pull those hips back. When we do those squats, pull those hips back, knees go out, and then lower yourself down. Oh. 
Pulling those hips back, down and deep. There we go. This is nothing compared to the blowdown. <laughs> hey, Dare, how far did you hike? It was about 70 miles, but. Whoa! But we got in this blowdown area. It would take 20 minutes to go 100 feet up and over logs. Wow. With a pack on. How heavy? Oh, probably 40, 45. That's legit. <laughs> All right, everybody. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and we're still going to keep those dumbbells because we're going to be doing those sumo deadlifts. All right. Here we go, you guys. Wide stance, go ahead and begin. Remember, it's a wider stance than a normal deadlift. You gotta be careful with it still, you guys, because those groins are super tender. So as those feet are wide, those toes are pointing out a little bit, pushing those knees out, and you're lowering yourself to the floor. And if you can make it to the floor, you guys, awesome. Very slight back. Very if you slight can't back. make it because of flexibility, that's okay. <laughs> And you can use one dumbbell, you can use two dumbbells. But just move with, just be very precise in how you're moving, you guys. Remember, all movements that we do, there's nothing that we need to do that's so fast, so rapidly fast that it compromises us. All right, 30 seconds, everybody. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds. There you go. All right. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm naming this day Leg Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday, but it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. No, but they're eating. My legs are fried. Oh. <laughs> leg Friday. Oh, legs Friday. I think that's Eva, thrown, yeah, that's Eva throwing some jokes out on a Monday. Eva was pretty quick to figure out that those climbers included a hidden up-down. <laughs> sure that. Yeah. that was, yeah, that was pretty I, quick. I wouldn't be surprised if Nick told Eva about that, though. Maybe. He gave me the high roll when I was announced. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I didn't know about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. 30 more seconds, and we'll see you guys. Right, you guys. 30 more seconds until we start the next set. All right, so what I want you guys to think about for the next uh, break time is what are you focused on your fitness and health for this week? What is your big focus? All right, you guys, five, four, three, two, and here we go. New set of mountain climbers with a jump over the dumbbell or shoulder taps with a push-up. Here we go. There we go. All right, everybody, 30 seconds. You 
You got it. You got it. Always think to yourself, one more, right? You got to do it. Think one more. <clears throat> Especially with the mountain climbers or even burpees, always take yourself down to the floor before you think about it. Because if we stand up, we're like, oh, I don't want to go back down again. Ugh. All right, here we go. We're about to rotate. Three, two, one, and moving into that next movement. We're going to go into those hang squat cleans where we can do that hang clean right into that front squat, excuse me, front squat, or we can do that hang clean, bring it to your shoulders. Nice, Tina, that was a good squat. And then do that squat, right? Pulling those hips back and down, knees are out. It's gonna let that butt dro drop into that squat. Go. Thirty seconds. Here we go. Twenty seconds, everybody. Nice job. Nice job. <clears throat> yep. Ten seconds. All right. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and widen up that base, you guys. Spread those legs out. Push those toes out a little bit. Make sure those knees are out also. But yeah, there we go. We're rocking those hips back, knees out. Really be mindful on the inside of those legs, just those groins. Be really careful. <clears throat> There, I saw that high pull. Yeah, well, I was thinking it's supposed to be sumo, isn't it? It is, but there's no high pull to it. <laughs> but, but I love it, though. I was thinking, wait, we're missing the sumo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is very <laughs> random and very public right now, dear. But I will be in Seattle at the last week of August. Yes. <laughs> so either A coffee or B coffee on zoom with each other <laughs> coffee awesome all right you guys 20 seconds here we go getting there I heard it where was it five seconds three two one and rest all right all right you guys so we're going to start with eva right real quick you guys what is your focus this week on your fitness and health eva um just being here and eating healthy that's, that's, that's good my goal for me <laughs> Neat. What about you, Nick? Building our power rack that comes today. Oh, Whoa. there you go. I dare. Uh, hydration and active recovery from beating the snot out of my body. Yeah, I'm impressed, Adair. Dan? I'd say hydration. Hydration, okay. Molly? Um, taking breaks from the computer regularly. Good job. Leslie. Doing that um, five days. Doing this five days? What? what? Yeah. John. Yo, go, Leslie. Uh, mobility. Doctor's appointment. And mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Tina. Uh, staying away from sugar this week. Roger that. Chris. Yeah, showing up in water. Word. Stan. Limiting those snacks during work. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, man. 
All right, you guys, here we go. Going into that next set. Three, two, one, and here we go. We got mountain climbers with the jump over that dumbbell, or we have shoulder taps with a push up. My big thing that I'm focusing on this week, you guys, is my nutrition and uh, getting in my runs. I've been doing a lot more running lately, and uh, I have some goals in my head that I want to do, and it requires me running more. So, getting a comfortable in that arena. Nice job, you guys. You may have heard this before, but like consistency always will win. So no matter what you do over and over and over again, you will be really good at that thing. Just show up. Yep. That should be a shirt, Adair. We should create a shirt. Just show up. You remember that's been my annual goal about five years running. It is. I have. <laughs> I saw a picture the other day there of you and Bev. I think, did you post it or did she push, post it? Bev posted it. Yeah, that was a good one. And I invited her to 7 a.m. Zoom. Oh, what'd she say? She didn't answer that. <laughs> 20 seconds, you guys. You got it, you got it. Get the Mavs going. Okay. All right, everybody, we have five seconds. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we are going to go. You got to tell Bev that all the OGs come to the 7 a.m. Zoom. That's true. She's that an OG, is, but where's she at? That is That's true. Right. Where is she? Let's all get on her. Leslie. <laughs> all right, guys, get right into those dumbbell hang squat cleans. Get that dumbbell in that rack position. And Amy. Amy weighed in. I invited her, too. Barone? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's line them up. Leslie, let's, let's go after them. <laughs> Get the band back together. Get the band back together. Oh. These are too late. This 20 should be arriving someday soon. Here we go. You got this, you guys. You got this. All right, everybody. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and rotate into those deadlifts. So wide, wide stance, you guys. Yeah, there we go. I'll give you more room so you can be on camera too. <laughs> Dan, we should take a before and after photo of your shirt because I think you sweat the best. I do. He does. Yeah. That's why hydration matters in our house. Yeah. So good. Here we go. Thirty seconds, everybody. Three to four, five. All right. Five. 
five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Oh, speaking of hydration. Yes. There's different quality of water out there. Have you guys looked into that or you just drink regular water? What do you do? How do I you drink it. I drink alkaline water. Where do you get it from? I bought a machine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you're totally right. You're totally right. There is a lot of different type of water out there. I thought it was kind of silly at the beginning, but kind of did my research and I was like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Does it take out uh, tap water and turn it alkaline? No, what it does, it's a machine. And so the water actually goes through the machine and has like seven, maybe I have four plates and it actually electrocutes the water. So then I can play with the pH. So no matter where you're at pH wise, um, it'll adjust it. Like I can go all the way up to 11.5. I can even go, I can drop it all the way down to 2.5. Oh, you don't want to. No, you don't want to drink that stuff, but that stuff is like for cleaning stuff. Oh yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there, there's some other stuff that's good for like good for skin and stuff like that. I do plain water or I love my bubble water machine, just mm. carbon dioxide. But I uh I use none tablets when I'm really working out and it's hot out. Yeah, yeah. I just throw it in. Oh, for the I electrolytes? Think. Yeah, it's like Gatorade, no sugar, you know? Gotcha. Scott, All what's right, the name of your machine? What's that? Do you remember the name of your machine? I do. The brand? Uh, yeah, so the water is Kungan water, and it's like uh, E-Logic or something like that. I can take a picture of it. Yeah, All I right. Sure. Let's keep it. Let's keep talking, but let's get, that, let's get the next mm -hmm. set into it. All right, guys. Mountain oh. climbers, three, two, one one and begin yeah it's called a magic uh stan so i bought this machine about uh probably about a year ago maybe even a little bit more of a year ago and so my thought of it was you know for for my family but also for i also do it for the gym here down in shasta but i but i have it all at my house so i have to fill up like a five gallon jug every time But I've had, had some friends, um, they just have had chronic gut issues and, uh, and time and really fast time that it, it goes away. Here we go, 30 seconds, everybody. Five seconds, everybody. All right, three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we're going right into those alternating, not alternating, but we're going right into those dumbbell hang squat cleans. So remember, we're gonna bring it into that rack position and then drop it into that squat, or we're just going to jump and fall into the squat. There we go. There we go. One minute. Yeah, watch. All right, everybody, 30 seconds. Remember, pull those hips back, you guys. Don't let the knees sail forward. I've been using the term or the, this, kind of the saying of 
jam that, that leg bone into your hip. That means pulling those knees back. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys, last movement of this segment, sumo deadlifts. So dumbbells are gonna be in between your legs. Legs are gonna be, feet are gonna be wide, pointing those toes out. And as we pull those hips back, we're gonna lean forward and just lower those dumbbells down. And you can think about no rest. No. Yeah, just kind of touching the tips of the dumbbells to the deck if you can. If you can't reach the deck, that's okay. All right, nice and smooth, you guys. All right, 30 seconds. There we go, nice and smooth, you guys, 15 seconds. Chest up, abs tight, really feeling those hamstrings. Three, two, one, and stop. Nicely done, you guys. Way to go. So we do, you guys, we do have a finisher, but uh, just due to time, you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what it is, and then uh, you guys are going to promise me that you're going to do it, right? Still do it. Don't leave this. Don't leave the scene, and then you're going to text me once you've completed it, uh, but it's going to be a finisher, and it's going to be for five sets. I'm going to do Tabata, so you're going to set a, a clock, and it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest or rotation, but we're going to be doing... Um, 20 seconds of V-ups or sit-ups. Oh. You go, go right into a hollow hold. And then you're just going to go back and forth for five sets, and then you're going to call it good. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Any, any questions, or do you need a demo on any of those movements? No? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, let's, let's close our party down and uh, take a big picture because it's Monday. Yeah, and uh, Adair put it out there. I did get a haircut, so we do need to put on. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. Well, hey, let's go ahead and get, get those friends involved in what we're doing here, you guys. All right. Get those guns up. Three, oh. two, one. And we're good. All right, you guys. Big high five to you all. Good Thank to see you. you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. And then please send me a text, you guys, once you guys have finished that finisher. Deal? Deal. All right. Thank you. See you guys. Bye, everybody.